Agabuklas. Good morning, learners! I am Teacher RB, your teacher in Science 8. Join me as we dive in into the incredible world of science. In the middle of your sleep, shaking ground woke you. You saw your walls also shaking. What do you think is happening? Very good! It is an earthquake. After this video, you are expected to differentiate the epicenter of an earthquake from its focus and differentiate the intensity of an earthquake from its magnitude. Are you ready? So am I. Last week, you learned how movements along falls generate earthquake. Now, let's try this simple activity entitled Shake Table. On this improvised table, we will try to generate an earthquake with the small cubes as the buildings and the circles to indicate the distance between objects. Little by little, I am exerting force under the table center. Observe which building will collapse first. The building near the center collapsed first, followed by the surrounding buildings as the shaking increased. Earthquakes are vibrations produced within the Earth's crust. It can be tectonic or volcanic. Now let's talk about focus and epicenter. Focus is the point along the fold where the earthquake originates. In our activity, the focus came from underneath the table. Meanwhile, epicenter is the point on the Earth's surface immediately above the focus. It is in the innermost circle and the table represented the Earth's crust. We observe that as we go farther from the epicenter, the earthquake weakens. The seismic waves travel from the focus to all direction when energy is being released. To inform people, seismologists or those who are experts in this field use two scales to describe earthquakes, magnitude and intensity. Magnitude is a measure of the energy released at the focus. This measurement is estimated from seismograph readings and is usually expressed by the Richter scale. Intensity measures the strength of shaking produced by the earthquake as observed by the people at a certain location. Unlike magnitude, intensity does not require instrumental measurements but only relies on the reports of its effects on people human structures, and the natural environment. Folds or breaks from the Earth's crust where movements originate. Active fold is one that moved in the past and is expected to move again. For our safety, we should not construct buildings on top of an active fold. We can use the VBOX Fold Finder to locate active folds in the country. Though we can measure earthquakes through magnitude and intensity, we don't know when it will hit us. So earthquake preparedness is very important. And that is another story to tell. This has been Teacher RV saying, Science is all around us. Goodbye and thank you for watching.